right, so the next thing we're going to show you is how to import your existing email contacts in case you already have an email list. Maybe you're switching from another provider and you wanna import your existing email contacts into ConvertKit. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the top here and click on subscribers. Then we see we don't have any subscribers in our account yet, obviously. So what we want to do is we want to click on add subscribers to actually import our list. So now it tells us that ConvertKit is special, that they only allow you to have one email list because you don't really need more than one email list because you can tag your contacts. By adding tags, you can basically segment your contacts by different interests or by whatever you want to. So let's say uh, you, have, uh, you have some different contacts. Some of them are your active customers. Some of them are just leads. So you can just tag them customer or tag them lead or maybe you have some different interests. Maybe you have um, people that are interested in blogging and then you have people that are interested in e-commerce. So we can just use a tag for all those different categories. So now um, we can either go ahead without a tag, we can click cancel or we can just tag them. I'm just gonna create a tag import um, July 20 so that I know those are the people that I've imported um, at July 20. And then I'm gonna click on create tag and then we have some different possibilities how we can import our contacts. So we can either do this manually, just add sync every single one of them, which is pretty, um, a lot of work probably. So, um, and we can also use import from another provider, but the easiest thing in my opinion is just uh, import as a CSV. So if with your other provider, you can just download or export all your contacts and save them as a CSV file and then go ahead and just import that file to your ConvertKit account. So we're just gonna click on import as CSV. And if you don't know how to, to export your contacts as a CSV file, just contact support of your other email marketing provider that you're switching from and they will definitely help you to get that file. Okay, so now I have to upload that file. So we're gonna click on select and drag and drop as CSV file. Then I'm gonna go to desktop and we're gonna click on example email list. And now we have uploaded that list. Now everything that ConvertKit lets you import is the email and the name. So I wanna make sure that um, every column is mapped correctly. So you can go through here and check if it already has mapped anything. But as you see, because every field in the middle here is empty, um, nothing is mapped already. So let's go ahead and map the name. So we just assign the name in our CSV file to um, the actual value in that column of that CSV file. So I'm gonna choose as name because the name is Bert here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them that's the first name. So now this column where it says Bert as an example will be saved as the first name. Then this is the email address and I'm gonna say that this is the corresponding email address. And that's everything I wanna import here. And you can also um, import tags, but I'm not gonna do that now. So we're gonna continue by just using the first name and the email. So ConvertKit is very simple like that. They don't, uh, they kind of try to uh, get rid of all the complicated stuff with email, email marketing and just focus on the, the, the main parts. So let's scroll down and then click on import subscribers. Now, depending on how big your list is, this might take a while, but I only had like six contacts on the list, just as an example, so it didn't take all too long. Now let's go ahead and refresh this page here to check if we actually have imported our subscribers. And as we see here, we have imported our six subscribers from our existing email list. You see, you have total subscribers now, six, this um, this graph here went up a bit. So as you see, um, as you gain more subscribers, you will always see kind of the statistics of it here in the subscribers tab. You also see like the average open rate, the average click, click rate, and how many emails you have sent. Yeah. <laughs>